I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder Cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging on till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I got the cash in the bag Still the impact Better rocks from the side Never let me attack Baby, I'm bad I just wanna get caught up This life, I'm crazy, I'm mad Do it again Only got one, two, three, four Never let me in the bag Still the impact Baby, I'm bad Better rocks from the side Never let me attack Baby, I'm bad I won't obey You cannot tell me what I cannot say I'm here to lie Alright everyone, here we go, here we go, here we go. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka The Writer, and today we're back with more good old universe mode. I need to add Bianca's music to the Bob Stop list. And <laughs> so we added the total Bob Stop action playlist to the description. I have no shame. If you haven't noticed it already, I think we started at, at like episode 61, like the Raw and NXT Invasion Intercontinental Championship situation clarification episode, the post arcade episodes. There we go. We started around that point. But holy crap, people, what an explosive takeover that this is. There has not been a single bad match. We've had some short matches, but nothing's been bad, and I can't complain. Because I'm filming this late at night while the people outside are being idiots and blasting music. So that's lovely. Uh, and by the way, again, this is before I make the big move, so at least through Royal Rebel we're going to have a lot of videos, like, pre-recorded and that sort of thing. And I'm like, dude, I might as well just, like, have everything filmed through, like, November, minus our reaction videos, which I can't be mad at. <sighs> I mean, there's always potential for us to, like, you know, move up episodes and stuff like that. Because, I mean, you never... Look, the weather's going to start getting cold soon. Like, literally the day after... Like, two days after I move. Like, you know, well, once this is up, of course. Then it's, like, going to drop, like, 30 degrees. And I'm just like... Okay, that works with me. What a time to be alive, people. But yeah, basically Carmella's out for a few weeks with a sprained knee due to Shotzi's backstage assault not too long ago, just on the last episode and that sort of thing. It was actually right at the very beginning of the last episode. And so now we went from a fatal four-way to a triple threat matchup for this Women's Money the Bank briefcase, which, interestingly enough, was held by Shotzi. Shotzi, of course, coming over to trade for Cameron Grimes. Monday Night Raw, so that's a whole situation and a half right there. Oh boy. It's up to Kaylee Ray now. Well, at least it's just gonna be like a ladder match and not as, you know, convoluted as that tables, ladders, and chairs match was. Yeah, that was a mess. Let's go, people. Let's go. This is going to be quite the triple threat match, no matter what. Like, even if it was just a regular triple threat match, I would have been down no matter what. God. Of course, we still got the main event to get to as well for the NXT Championship. We got Sheamus versus Balor. I think it's like round two or round three for those two. People are chanting for Bianca. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're gonna see what happens here, kids. But we got a triple threat ladder matchup for the women's money the bank briefcase. We already saw the men's one change hands. Two episodes ago, in fact. Of course, next up is a Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble will be spliced up into two separate episodes. So that's exciting. Or no, into four different episodes, my bad. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, what, what matches do we have? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to record it. I'm like, do we just do it straightforward? Who knows? Who knows? Because at least we'll know who's going to be in the Rumble after the after this episode. Because, I mean, you got to figure out who your champions are, right? Right. Now, granted, we still have a couple titles to decide at Royal Rumble, but I'm like, you know what? It's fine. Everything's fine. Bianca with the counter now. Somebody go get a ladder. Okay, thank you, Bianca. Bianca went for the ladder. Of course, in the last episode, we had a crazy triple threat TLC match with Trish and Beth and Liv and Liv pulling out the huge win. So that's beyond exciting, right? Right. Oh, what a move right there from Kaylee Ray. Oh, a huge slap from Mandy. Kaylee Ray now, what is she doing here? Oh, no. Again, if I sound tired or quiet, it's because it's like almost, I think, 11 o'clock at night when I'm recording this. But to be fair, we have the time change. So I was like, you know what, if they're going to be annoying outside, I'm going to be annoying too. <laughs> well, not as annoying, but you get the point, right? Right. Oh, Bianca's clearing house now. Oh, no. Bianca Belair now going up the top of the ladder. Kaylee Ray is right behind her. She's going to the other side of the ladder. Oh boy. What is Kaylee Ray up to? Oh, but Bianca with the counter. Mandy's got the right idea. She's just letting these two just battle it out at the top of the ladder, and I kind of don't blame her. I would be doing the exact same thing. I'd be like just watching these two beat each other up and just trying to stay out of sight, out of mind. Kaylee Ray gets pulled off the top of the rope right or top of the ladder right there, not the top of the rope. A huge kick right there from Mandy to Bianca right there. A huge kick. We still have a ladder in, in the ring, which is lovely to see. Oh, right on the ladder, I think. Oh no. Bianca, if you bring in that other ladder, like you're my pick to win this thing. I was going to say, somebody go get a ladder again, because the one just fell outside the ring. Okay, Kaylee Ray might have it here. Possibly. Or not. Oh, dear God. Somebody go get a ladder. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. I just hit my headphone. Or my microphone, I should say. Okay, we got a ladder. We got a ladder back inside the ring. Love that for us. Kaylee Ray is going for it here, people. Bianca Belair is scooping up that ladder now. Kaylee Ray's got the submission hold locked in, but Bianca Belair now had the ladder, but did not have the ladder. Okay, well, she brought in another ladder. Alright, Bianca's got a ladder. Oh no. Somebody just go get the ladder. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Hang on here. Oh no. Oh, we're gonna the ladder. Oh no. Oh no. What is even happening? Bianca's got the right idea. She's just going for the ladder at this point. There you go, Bianca. 
see, let these two battle it out. There we go. Oh, Bianca's going for it now. She's going for it. Oh, what a move right there from Bianca Belair. Mandy Rose now scaling up the ladder. Oh, or not. Or not. It's fine. She just went over the top rope right there. Oh, no. Oh, what a counter for Mandy. And Kaylee Ray's scaling the ladder. She's going for that briefcase. Or not. Or not. She's being smart about it, though. She's like, as soon as I'm seeing people, like, moving, I'm going down. <laughs> At least she's being smart about this whole situation. Can't fault her for that. Oh, right on the ladder. Oh, God, right on the ladder. And Bianca now scooping up the ladder this time around. Bianca, somebody just climb up that ladder. Oh, dear God. I love how every single time we have one of these matches, I'm like, oh my God, just climb the ladder already. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God, that was right on the ladder. Oh, God. Kaylee Ray, why did you just move that ladder? Girl. Girl, climb the ladder. Oh no, see? Oh god. Okay, well we have a counter. We have a counter, we have a counter, we have a counter. Oh, and Bianca's not looking too good right here. And Kaylee Ray with the vicious streak. Oh no. Oh no! She might have it here. Kaylee Ray has a clear as day opening now. Kaylee Ray goes back up the ladder. Could this be it? Kaylee Ray, you have an opening! Oh dear god. Why is everybody being stupid? You have a clear as day opening to get this freaking briefcase. Oh dear god, I can't. The logic or the lack of the lack of logic. You know what? I hope you lose now. I hope we lose this briefcase. Just just for this mess alone. I hope we lose this briefcase. Actually, no. This might be a good part. This might be a good time. I don't know. Girl, climb the ladder. These two are battling it out. Oh, dear God. Just climb the ladder, girlfriend. Climb, climb the ladder. Oh, dear God. Somebody go for it. Oh, somebody go up the freaking ladder. I know, such insightful commentary. I realize that. But it's, it's true. I just want everybody to go up the ladder at this point. Bianca, you had an opening, too, when you got your showboating. Jesus. Can we improve the AI for the ladder matches to make them, like, less stupid? Because that'd be great. Alright, we got Mandy Rose in full pursuit right here. Oh, but Bianca Bella is back inside the ring right here. Not doing anything, which sounds about right, because that's just how these matches are going. They're all, like, showboating when they could have been going up this freaking ladder. Oh, Mandy might have it, y'all. Mandy might have it. Or not. Okay, I don't know where she's going. Okay, other side of the ladder. That, that sort of makes sense. And Mandy Rose now. Climbing the brief... Climbing up the ladder to get the briefcase. Could this be enough? Could this be it? Oh, Bianca Belair has her. Bianca Belair going right for Mandy right here. Oh, no. 
Bianca's strength is unreal, dude. That is all. What's Bianca up to here? Oh, no. Oh, what a move. Oh, dear God. Just... Oh. The ladder's fine where it's at. Just climb up the ladder. Someone better go up that ladder soon, or I'm going to be a little salty. Just, just a tad bit. I know, we have such insightful commentary for these matches, but it's beyond infuriating sometimes. Like, it's infuriating to play one of these matches, but it's, like, even more, like, worse when you're not... Oh, Mandy snuck up the ladder there. Mandy sneaking up there. Mandy's, like, the only one that's really been going for the frickin' briefcase this entire time. And Mandy Rose brings the briefcase back to Monday Night Raw. This is gonna be interesting, y'all. Oh, boy. What a chaotic ladder match this was. And at points beyond infuriating and frustrating, but Mandy Rose pulls out the win and Monday Night Raw gets the women's briefcase once again. We're gonna have to see how things fall moving forward, but we've got our main event tables, ladders, and chairs match to get to for the XD Championship. Let's see what happens. And is not scheduled for one fall. <laughs> I had to. I just, I had to. Okay? I just... Yeah. Fella! There's our fella. There's the original fella. <laughs> and the number one contender... Seamus here tonight. Again, this is the main event of TakeOver Tables, Ladders and Chairs, otherwise known as TakeOver TLC, as is probably reflected in the titles. I'm actually really proud of myself. I've gotten, like, what are we at? 11 videos <laughs> filmed in a week? 12 if you're counting the reaction video, which the reaction video from, like, at the time that this is uploaded, from, like, November 4th, I fell asleep editing the last five minutes of it. I have no shame in my game, y'all. Didn't do nearly as good as the other three, but that's okay. Because it's, it's, it's tough to get through, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it's hard to push through it, but sometimes you just got to, like, push through it. Right, right. I, you got to make things quick and efficient for yourself, right? Right. we got Sheamus here tonight taking on the current NXT champion, the prince himself. we got the prince versus the fella. <laughs> God. And the winner takes on Shinsuke Nakamura next, so no matter what, we're getting ourselves a great match, right? Right. So where are the intros for these two? Do we not get intros? Because they started with the intros, and then they just kind of took a smoke break. And I get that, like, if they're trying to wait for the ring, but I just, I don't understand any of this. Everything's fine. But I kind of like the flow of this special. We're gonna get to Royal Rumble, of course, coming up in the next four episodes. Because, look, y'all, I'm not gonna put you through, like, a match plus a Royal Rumble. Like, why would I do that? So it's gonna be a nice four-part episode. I think that's more than reasonable, because our NXT matches have stipulations attached to them. Monday Night Raw just have two matches. Just normal one-on-one -on -one matches. Then we have the Royal Rumble match. So we have six nice, neat little matches coming up. So we're going to go grab our snacks for that one, right? Right. And here we go, people. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And then, of course, after Royal Rumble, we will also be beginning the second round matches of the King of the Ring tournament and that sort of thing. Many of them are already on NXT, so I'm like, okay, well, that works. That's perfect for us. But we'll... we'll figure out a structure, we'll figure out a groove moving ahead and that sort of thing, because we'll be on the road to Wrestlemania. We're going to definitely do the two-night Wrestlemania approach, because, y'all, I can't. <laughs> there's so many people, there's so many titles, because on Monday Night Raw they have the WWE Championship, the US Championship, the Raw Tag Titles, the Raw Women's Championship, 
Then we have, oh god, we've got the NXT Championship, the Intercontinental Championship, if LA Knight gets it back, and if not, then I guess Monday Night Raw has it for the time being? I don't know. The NXT Women's Championships, we got the NXT Tag Titles, we have the Women's Tag Titles in general, but right now we are focused on the NXT Championship. So the fella and the prince don't get entrances? Okay, that's not cool. Bro! And introducing first, the fella. The number one contender, Sheamus. <laughs> oh god, we're back to cheesy ring introductions again. See, that's why we don't do anything. See Finn, once again, he's got the right idea. He's got the ladder involved, alright. Again, this is tables, ladders, and chairs, meaning that we are bound to get at some point. Some semblance of tables, ladders, and chairs in this match, and we already have the ladder part involved. Quite literally, we have a ladder, not ladder. But also that kind of works, because, I mean, ladder is in the middle, but it's not the ladder, because ladder is like the last part. What's Finn up to here? What's he up to here? Oh, and a huge drop kick again. The winner of this matchup, their next challenge is going to be against Shinsuke Nakamura. Coming up in recent weeks and that sort of thing. That's going to be quite the episode on our hands. Oh, and Seamus is going right for Finn, who went right up that ladder. Finn ain't backing down whatsoever. Gotta respect that for our dude. The Prince. The three-time NXT champ. Oh, God. That almost went right on the ladder, too. The ladder almost went on to the ladder. The ladder almost went on to the ladder. There we go. Now, I always thought that they were spelled the same way for the longest time. Oh, Seamus with the elbow drop. And I'm just like, why am I like this? <sighs> oh, and Finn Balor now. With the kicks, with the strikes. Oh, and a huge DDT right there. Balor now setting up the ladder. Could this be it? Could this be the opening? Finn needs to retain the title. The Prince makes his way up the ladder, but Sheamus pushes the ladder over. Oh, right in the corner of the ladder. Oh, God. I'm in pain watching this, y'all. Oh, and Finn with the counter now. Oh, no. Oh, what a move right there from the champ. What a move, what a move, what a move. Oh, boy. What's Finn up to here? Oh, and the running front drop kick. That could be enough to put away Seamus for the time being to get in. Oh, my God. Finn, what are you doing? Oh, I know what he's going for here. And that that could be it, y'all. I was gonna say, Finn, you have a clear as day opening to go up that ladder and like get the title. Finn, get the ladder, Jesus, Finn. Somebody get the ladder. Thank you, Seamus. The fella might be the champ sooner rather than later, but here we are, kids. Here we are. And Seamus now climbing up the ladder. Come on, fella, you can do it. <laughs> He's just the fella on this channel, alright? Everybody's got a nickname of some capacity. Huge move right there from Finn to Seamus. At some point, almost everybody gets a nickname on the channel, whether that's a nickname that's been around for a little bit or not, but here we are. The crowd wants tables, but Finn has a chair. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what a kick. What an elbow drop. Oh god, Finn's like kind of caught up in the ladder right there. Oh, we got a table. We got a table. Oh no. Oh god, Finn's going up that ladder again. Finn's got the title, but Seamus is right behind him. 
Oh no. Oh no. Seamus, what are you doing, fella? Oh god. Huge power bomb right there from Seamus to Finn. Oh god. Oh Seamus, what is this man up to here? Oh no. Oh, that's gotta be it, y'all. Or not. Oh no. Oh god, that's it. Oh, but Finn's back up on his feet. See, Finn's at least trying to go up the ladder. Seamus had a clear as day opening, but doesn't go up the ladder. Love that for him. Come on, fella, you can do it. Oh boy. Seamus, you have an opening. Go and get the freaking. Oh my god. Again, this is beyond infuriating. Oh god. Oh, and a huge move right there. And Seamus is going full throttle right now on the champ. Targeting the arms, the legs, everything that. everything, and then some. Oh no. The submission hole is locked in. Oh god, my apologies, y'all. We're, we're starting to feel. We're starting to feel it, y'all. We're starting to feel the fatigue settle in. But that's okay. At least we're getting there. We're almost towards the end. Hopefully. There we go, fella. We're just calling him fella. God dang it! Your freaking title is right- Oh my god. Your title is right there, Seamus. At least Finn's being smart in this whole situation. Huge diving attack right there from Finn to Seamus. See, at least Finn's got the right idea. You know, at least he's using the weapons and stuff, but still. Oh my god. Finn Balor doing everything and everything. Anything and everything. Oh dear god. To retain the gold here tonight. Jesus. No chill, dude. No chill. Y'all, I'm actually really excited to film these Royal Rumbles because they're just always so unhinged and I love it. Oh, there goes Seamus now. Oh, no. Oh, no. And Seamus now clears day opening for the title. Seamus now going up for the title. Seamus has the title now. The fellow's got the title. Can the fella become the champ? Seamus is going after that title. Scratching and clawing. Finn Balor back up onto his feet now. Slowing down the fella. Oh my god, what was that? Oh dear god. And Finn Balor now, huge power bomb to Seamus right there. And Balor now going back up the ladder. Finn, what are you doing? Oh no. Finn, I swear to God, don't do what you're thinking of doing. For a split second, I thought he was going to do the coup de gras, but here we are. Fans are chanting, this is awesome. I gotta agree with them, except somebody go get the frickin' briefcase. Oh no. Finn Balor connects. Could this be enough to put away the fella? I mean, Finn's got to readjust his sails a little bit, but he might have it. Because, I don't know, he's actually climbing up the ladder. Well, he was earlier. Not right now. He's trying to readjust. Which is fair. He's kind of got, like, Seamus' foot kind of trapped right there. Do y'all see that? Finn, just grab the title. There we go. Oh, but the fellow's back up onto his feet. Oh. 
Finn may or may not have it here, y'all. The fella's back up onto his feet. I love how I just keep calling Seamus the fella. I have no shame. Oh no. Oh no. Seamus is unreal, dude. Our dude's oh, just unhinged, un, un, unreal. Oh my god. Seamus climbed the freaking ladder. See, this is why Finn Balor is probably going to retain this thing. But I don't know, dude. There we go. Seamus is climbing up the ladder. Just because I said something... Oh my god. See, this is what I'm talking about. Instead of going for the freaking briefcase, he's doing this crap. Oh. Finn just climbed the ladder. Oh, but Seamus caught up that time. Maybe Seamus is listening to my advice and just climbing up the ladder when he can. Oh, and Finn Balor now trying to remove the ladder out from underneath his feet, and does. Huge move right there from Finn. Finn versus the fella. And a coup de gras connects. If I'm Finn, I'm going to go and get the ladder and climb it and get my title. I think that's what our dude's doing here. Hopefully. There we go. See, somebody's understanding the assignment here. Finn's going for that title now. Finn's seeking to retain the titles right here tonight. Can Finn retain the title? Finn might have it here, people. And Finn Balor retains here tonight at TakeOver TLC. What a match. What an episode. What a TakeOver, y'all. Again, my apologies if I sounded very tired throughout this whole thing. Again, we've we filmed late tonight, okay? There's no shame in that. It's like 11:30 at night almost, but at least we get, at least the time goes back tonight. We're doing it on the night of the time zone change or the time change or whatever, where we go backwards an hour and then it gets dark out at like four. Yeah, we're almost at that point of the year now, so I'm like, okay, well that's fine. I'll just keep filming as much as I can. But either way around, let me know what you all thought about this episode of good old universe mode. Let me know what you thought about good old TakeOver TLC. We had some title changes, we had a lot of developments, and we had some titles get retained. We had a nice mixture of matches. We had some classics on our hands and that sort of thing. Royal Rumble should be out, you know, within the next day or two. I don't know yet. We'll have to figure it out. I still have to film it. And that sort of thing. So either way around, thank you all so much for tuning in. Leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button so you get notifications on here and that sort of thing. And I will see you all in the next one.